The thing about going out into the Farewell Wilderness in Days Gone is that everything is trying to kill you. Days Gone is a world that comes for you. It's a world that is dangerous everywhere you go. We set Days Gone in that world because we hadn't seen it a lot in, in video games. And it brought something to the experience that we really, really needed. The danger comes from not just the freakers, but it comes from marauders who want to snipe you off your bike. It comes from the weather that will make it impossible for you to stay on a muddy trail the world changes after dark. More freakers come out. It's brutal and it's harsh. It can be rough sometimes. Freakers are human beings who were infected by a virus that killed the world. Freakers are alive and they are mutated. And one of the key storylines in, in Days Gone is they are continuing to mutate. They are changing even as you play the game. We have several types of Freakers in the game. Each one of them has their own challenges. Swarmers, for example, are adult males and females, and they tend to roam in groups. They are very, very strong and very hard to kill. You know, in the Screamer, what she has is a sort of verbal attack. She will bring in swarms, and when you hear this scream that it makes, basically puts an effect on the world and makes it awfully hard to escape. We have the breaker, which is like a big brute. You're gonna run into infected animals. Rest in Peace is a cult that worships the Freakers. The Rippers want to be like the Freakers. They dress like them, they scar themselves. Because the Rippers worship the Freakers, they won't attack them. When you're playing Days Gone, you just have to be aware of everything around you all the time. We really wanted to build a world that was dangerous. You know, you can explore, it's beautiful, but what if that world was always trying to kill you? The thing about a game like Days Gone is it's the sum of its parts, so that you have, you know, the open world, and you have a bike, and you have enemies, you have humans and freakers. And animals and you have lots of tools to deal with them. The high desert of Central Oregon is, is sort of built for the kinds of traversal that we really wanted to explore. We are so excited to have players finally be able to jump into the Farewell Wilderness in the world of Days Gone and get a sense of who Deacon St. John is and what this experience is. Uh, so when this thing comes out on April 26th, we are just so excited to see what you think about this world.